So let's take you through a selection of iconic, timeless and classic saddlebags for your collection. And at number seven, we have the Chloe Marcy saddlebag with prices starting at upwards of £850 for the small. Chloe has produced some iconic bags over the years and one that continues to turn heads is the Marcy saddlebag. The Chloe Marcy saddle was launched in 2009 under former creative director Hannah McGibbon. The Chloe Marcy saddlebag is a classic from the Chloe fashion house. A fresh feminine bag with soft curved lines exudes in a 70s bohemian chic allure. The Chloe Marcy saddlebag pays tribute to the Maison's equestrian roots with its rounded silhouette and equestrian inspired shape with the Marcy saddle flap shaped in a horseshoe. The Chloe Marcy saddle bag features a single flat shoulder strap with buckle adjustments, perfect for wearing long on the shoulder and as a crossbody. The Chloe Marcy saddle bag also features small elements of hardware in the gold O-ring that forms part of the closure mechanism and the tassel ends with hardware offered in a gold, silver or bronze toned hardware. The Marcy saddle bag also features a drawstring fastening closure tassel dangling at the front flap. The Chloe Marcy saddle opens up to a cotton lined interior, one roomy compartment, a single slip pocket at the underside of the front flap. In addition to a discreet pocket in the interior wall, showcasing plenty of space for all your essentials and belongings. The Chloe Marcy bag features premium leather craftsmanship as well as visible decorative stitching and the embossed logo lettering detailing of the signature Chloe script engraved on the middle of the front flap. The Chloe Marcy saddle bag is the ideal day companion, perfect as an everyday bag. The Marcy saddle bag is usually crafted in a thick grain calfskin leather and has been designed in many different variations throughout the seasons, including a variation in a sheep shirling trim, a nod to its popularity and demand. The Chloe Marcy saddle bag is available in a few different sizes, including the nano, the mini, the small and the medium, and is also available in a range of colours. The Chloe Marcy saddle bag effortlessly evokes Chloe's brand DNA, a minimalistic bag easy to star with any outfit, a timeless classic from the Chloe fashion house that will fit any wardrobe. And at number six, we have the Gucci Horsebit 1955 shoulder bag with prices starting at upwards of £2,220 for the small size. The Gucci Horsebit 1955 shoulder bag debuted in 2020 under creative director Alessandro Michele who once again delved into the Gucci house's archive, pulling on the Gucci fashion house's rich history and heritage to create another classic masterpiece. The Gucci Horsebit 1955 shoulder bag is the reimagining and revitalization of a Gucci bag design from the 1950s. The bag retains the same lines and form of the original details of the handbag, but unifies the original details with an elegant yet youthful charm, and most significantly, the equestrian-inspired aesthetics, playing on Gucci's fondness of the equestrian world. Since its inception, the Gucci Horsebit motif has been a signature of the Gucci brand's DNA, first used on Gucci's original loafer, which was created by Aldo Gucci, the son of Guccio in the 1950s. He was working on one of the house's most famous accessories of the Gucci fashion house, in which the horsebit formed part of the design. Instantly, the loafers and equestrian symbol became a must-have for high society and elites. And shortly after, the icon was used on the handbag for the very first time. The horsebit icon motif is now synonymous with the Gucci fashion house. It is now very characteristic of Gucci and has been used in countless bags, shoes, accessories and clothing for decades. The Gucci horsebit 1955 shoulder bag is a slightly structured, compact bag crafted in a soft, supple, grained calfskin leather and features an elegant front flap decorated with the iconic horse bit centerpiece, which is a double ring and bar chain hardware that appears on the front flap closure. There is also the appearance of the half horse bit form adorning the side panels, 
of the Gucci Horsebit 1955 shoulder bag in an optional gold or silver tone metal hardware alongside the bag's liqueured edges. The Gucci Horsebit 1955 shoulder bag is an elegant, boxy and sturdy saddle-like bag with a rectangular silhouette with elegant, slightly curved, rounded edges. The Gucci Horsebit 1955 shoulder bag opens up to a sophisticated, microfiber-lined interior with a suede-like finish and has a slip-through flap that slips into the horsebit icon adorning the front of the bag. The Gucci Horsebit 1955 shoulder bag opens up to accordion panels at the sides and partitions with three main compartments. It also features the leather logo applique patch pocket, two slip pockets and an internal slip pocket. In the rear compartment, there is a smaller zipped pocket that is ideal for storing small items. The Gucci 1955 Horsebit shoulder bag features a sophisticated internal mechanism, a pin buckle fastening that allows the wearer to adjust the gold studded strap length for over the shoulder carrying or crossbody wearing. The Gucci Horsebit 1955 shoulder bag was initially released in a few plain block colours like the brown and red all leather style, in addition to the exclusive blue plain leather option featuring the Gucci Blue, Red and Blue Velvet Webbin. The Gucci Hillspit 1955 shoulder bag is also available in a variety of precious skins like crocodile and ostrich skin if you're looking for something even more luxurious. Thanks to its classic design, the Gucci Hillspit 1955 shoulder bag definitely has longevity and is set to become an iconic bag in the Gucci handbag archives. The Gucci Hillspit 1955 shoulder bag is perfect for everyday wear and can be paired with any casual outfit for an effortlessly chic look. The Gucci Hillspit 1955 shoulder bag gives a modern twist to a classic, whilst keeping the Gucci house's equestrian history alive. It is refreshingly unpretentious, with a slightly retro feel. The bag oozes timeless style, excellent quality and effortless luxury. The Gucci Hillspit 1955 shoulder bag integrates an original design detail with a contemporary style, blending vintage Gucci with the modern. The Gucci Hillspit 1955 shoulder bag absolutely showcases the brand's unique contemporary aesthetic and the understated if you know you know look and is definitely one to consider for your luxury collection. And at number five we have the Hermes Evelyn bag with prices starting at upwards of £2,500 for the Evelyn third edition in the PM size. The Hermes Evelyn bag is one of Hermes's most popular crossbody style bags with a saddle-like silhouette. Originally designed by Evelyn Bertrand in 1978, she was the head of Hermes's riding department. Evelyn and her team developed a new design for a bag that would be convenient and hands-free for horse groomers to carry their equestrian tools. Evelyn settled on a design for a crossbody bag that featured one removable, non-adjustable shoulder strap attached to a simple leather body with a small belt closure that snaps into place to secure its contents. The defining feature of this design was the air hole ventilation feature in the style of a H-shaped holes designed on one side of the bag, allowing for the equestrian care tools to dry out whilst in the bag. The Evelyn bag was actually designed to be worn with the perforated H-side facing the body, but since the bag moved from stable equipment to a luxury everyday bag, the H side is worn facing outwards. The Hermes Evelyn bag was originally relegated to equestrian goods until the early to mid 2000s when the bag was mysteriously moved to the leather goods department and the Hermes Evelyn's popularity rose. Since its introduction, there has been three versions of the Evelyn. The Evelyn 1, the Evelyn 2 and the Evelyn 3. Each new generation is replaced by its predecessor, and no new bag in the previous generation is produced when the next generation is introduced. The first Evelyn does not have an external rear pocket like the current versions. The rear pocket was created on the second Evelyn, but only on the smallest model, and the most recent Evelyn features a rear pocket on every size with an adjustable canvas shoulder strap. The Hermes Evelyn bag is a fuss-free, simple bag with just a stud button leather tab as its closure, making it perfect for days when you have to run errands. 
With each generation, the design of the Hermes Evelyn has stayed true to the bag's iconic shape and perforated leather H on the front. The Evelyn bag's signature H usually has 63 holes, 40 for the oval and 9 for each arm of the H and 5 across the H's middle with the perforations raw and finished edged evenly spaced and sized. The Hermes Evelyn is usually available in the Epson or Clements leather and the Hermes Evelyn bag is also offered in canvas and vibrato leather. Regardless of what leather is being used, the interior of the Hermes Evelyn bag is always raw. Some options also features a removable strap made from canvas with a leather trim that matches the colours of the bag. The Hermes Evelyn bag comes in a variety of primary, standard and vibrant colours, from your classic black to your bright greens. You can find a colour to suit you. The third generation Evelyn comes in four sizes, the mini TPM, the medium TM, the large GM and the extra large TGM size, which stands for Tres Petit Model, Petit Model, the Grand Model and the Tres Grand Model. With the Hermes Evelyn Mini TPM discontinued in 2019. In 2016, Hermes debuted the Evelyn Cellier with the classic style reduced to its essential silhouette. This version also features an Hermes Cellier mark on the outside of the bag and the giant perforated H is removed and replaced with an embossed H enclosed within a diamond shape. The Cellier construction also features edges turned out to create a geometric and starkly structured finish. The Hermes Cellier comes in a 29cm PM and a 33cm GM. The Hermes Evelyn is a favourite entry-level Hermes accessory bag, the perfect first purchase when delving into the world of Hermes, an investment piece that will sure last a lifetime. And at number four, we have the Dior Bobby bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,500 for the small size. The Christian Dior Bobby bag was debuted in fall 2020 under the creative director Maria Grazia Turi. The Dior Bobby bag exudes contemporary influences and imbues historical Dior roots all at once. Even though the Bobby bag design is new, its name actually dates back decades and comes with a story like many Dior pieces. The design pays homage to Christian Dior and is a tribute named after Monsieur Dior's beloved dog Bobby. The Bobby name has been given to many Christian Dior designs throughout the history of the house, including the Bobby tailored skirt suit and the same aesthetic allure of the Bobby suits were channeled into the Dior Bobby bag. Story has it that each Christian Dior collection contained a garment design earmarked for success called the Bobby, as written in Monsieur Dior's own memoirs. This time, the Dior Bobby bag, with its soft, supple leather and no-frills elegance, is earmarked for success, as Monsieur Dior's early suits were. Maria Grazia Turi's vision was to create a faithful companion for women in the form of a handbag, reminiscent of the relationship that Monsieur Dior had with his much-loved pet. And so, the Bobby bag was conceived as a faithful companion to suit the personal needs of fashionistas and Dior enthusiasts. Crafted from box calf skin, the Christian Dior Bobby bag is a minimalist saddle style bag that combines a practical sturdy structured shape with rounded edges and a curved silhouette. The Christian Dior Bobby bag has a front flap secured with a magnetic closure. Subtly hidden behind the decorative, elegant buckle detail adorned with the house's signature CD initial emblem in a gold antique metal hardware. The Christian Dior Bobby bag also opens up to a suede lining and one main interior compartment with the opening cut off from the sides to offer security and also has a logo engraved slip pocket. In addition, the iconic Dior headquarter address 30 Montaigne is embossed at the back of the bag where the convenient slip pocket is located. Some offerings of the Dior Bobby bag comes with a leather shoulder strap, whilst others have the Jacquard canvas strap that adds a modern touch. The Christian Dior Bobby bag comes in a few sizes, from a micro, small to a medium, which is compact yet spacious, especially for when running errands, and also a large. 
the Christian Dior Bobby bag has a highly covetable style. With its contemporary yet timeless essence, the Dior Bobby bag is a youthful vintage style design, an emblem of timeless modernity and a bag to invest in now and treasure forever. And at number three, we have the Celine Classic Bag. With prices starting at upwards of £2,950 for the medium. Admired for its understated and low key minimalist allure, Celine prides itself on its discreet nature that exudes a true, if you know, you know aesthetic. One of the most famous, iconic, and timeless pieces that imbues the minimalistic and simplistic Celine house code is the Celine Classic Bag. The Celine Classic is an understated style featuring clean lines, a rigid and boxy structured rectangular silhouette, commonly crafted from 100% smooth, supple, but sturdy calfskin leather. It was originally called the box bag due to the fact that the most common option came in the box calfskin option. A smooth leather that develops a patina over time, leaving an additional lovely glossy sheen. The Celine Classic is the epitome of Celine's authentic, feminine and intricate craftsmanship. The classic is actually a reinterpretation debuted by Phoebe Philo during her tenure as the creative director of the Celine Fashion House. In 2011, the classic was modified from a 1970s bag from the Celine archive. Most elements of the original bag remained. However, the most significant change was the vintage Celine horse and carriage logo that was replaced to a simplistic, elegant, but subtle push class metal buckle on the front in line with her minimalistic artistic flair. The Celine Classic bag is meticulously crafted with a front flap that opens up to a lambskin lined interior and an accordion style structure with the interior also partitioned with soft leather interiors in three different compartments. The bag also features a long zipper pocket and a small zipper slot for your essentials and organisation. The Celine Classic features a strap that is both removable and adjustable, making the bag a multi-purpose bag with many carrying possibilities. It can be carried on the shoulder or as a crossbody. The Classic is also adorned with elements of hardware like the front clasp on the centre front, commonly offered in a gold or silver tone hardware, adding to the understated elegance and sophistication of the design whilst giving the bag a vintage retro charm and aesthetic. The Celine Classic bag comes in a few sizes, including a mini, small, medium and large. Celine's colour palette for the Classic is mostly neutral with subtle pops of colour. Since its debut, the Classic bag has transcended fads and trends, returning seasonally and remaining a successful, unquestionable, timeless Celine bag. The Classic bag is the perfect sleep bag as a companion bag, transitioning you from day to night as it exudes a true timeless Parisian appeal. It works for corporate, casual and evening occasions suited to many different styles. It does not scream logo or graphic monograms, but simplicity and elegance that embodies this compact design. The Celine Classic bag is a style that will remain in your wardrobe forever. And at number two, we have the Dior Saddlebag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,600 for the mini size. The Dior Saddlebag was designed and debuted in 1999 on the runway for John Galliano's Spring-Summer 2000 collection. Galliano's first bag for Dior was a bag in the shape of a horse saddle. The saddlebag was ubiquitous and quickly propelled into the mainstream. The bag quickly became the most talked about accessory and was seen on the arms of every it girl, both real and fictional, in the mainstream in the late 90s and early 2000s. From Paris Hilton to Carrie Bradshaw, the kidney-shaped classic bag also made pop culture being featured on Sex and the City. The Dior saddle bag is easily recognisable due to its unique shape. It features a short shoulder strap and bold hardware and is worn tight against the arms. Initially, the Dior saddlebag was an instant hit, but only a year later, the purse began to fade and fashionistas moved on to the next it bag. But in 2014, Beyonce catapulted the Dior saddlebag firmly back into the global fashion scene 
and she was spotted wearing a vintage version, which was then followed in hot pursuit by many other Hollywood A-listers. The rise in popularity and increased demand for vintage versions of the Dior saddle bag was so hard to ignore by the Dior fashion house. And in 2018, the must-have statement bag of the late 90s was revived for Dior under the creative direction of Maria Grazia Turi. It became the centerpiece of the Dior fashion house once again. The modern Dior saddle bag boasts a slightly larger size to accommodate the modern desire of fashionistas to fit more into their bag. The saddle bag also has a magnetic snap closure instead of the Velcro on previous models. Dior also introduced the additional detachable long shoulder strap sold separately, making the saddle bag more versatile with many carrying options. The saddle bag is commonly offered in two versions, the first being a block monochrome colour in buttery leather and the second in the Dior's classic oblique jacquard canvas. The saddle bag has also since been introduced in various other versions from patent leather, monochromatic matte leather to camouflage canvas, satin, denim and even ostrich and python skins. And other options offered feature embellished variations with, pe- with beads and patchwork florals. On the oblique pattern now, the font is smaller and defined, and the D accent at the front of the saddle is bolder. The Dior saddle bag opens up to a leather or fabric lined interior, depending on the style, to one main compartment and slip pocket. The Dior saddle comes in two sizes, the mini and the medium. Traditionally, the Dior saddle designs come in gold hardware. But in recent years, the hardware of the Dior saddle designs have expanded to incorporate black ultra mats and crystal encrusted variations. Quite the revival for the Dior saddle bag. However, it's back here to stay and has become a street style staple for a more daring fashionista. And is definitely one to consider for your luxury collection. And at number one, we have the Hermes Constance bag. With prices starting at upwards of £7,000 for the Constance 18. In 1959, Hermes employed a designer by the name of Catherine Chaillé, who gave birth to a girl by the name of Constance. To honour this momentous event, Catherine decided to name one of her handbag designs after her child. The first Constance left the Hermes production line to the stores on the day of the birth of Catherine's child. The Constance immediately gained popularity through the endorsement of former First Lady Jackie Kennedy, who favoured the Hermes Constance bag. The Constance is an architecturally inspired bag, classic in appeal but still contemporary in design. The Constance is an appealing and functional bag with a sleek, sturdy, structured, boxy silhouette, in addition to rounded corners, and an adjustable strap which slides through its two hasps made with palladium, gold or silver hardware. The shoulder strap is ingeniously looped, so you can wear it either long or short, making the bag versatile, as it allows you to wear it over the shoulder or as a crossbody too. The Hermes Constance opens up to an interior made of lambskin lining with an option of one or two generous gussets, which is an essential part of the Constance design, as it supports its rigid and slim silhouette and helps the bag retain its shape without sagging over time. Each of the sizes of the Constance bag, except the micro, has an offering of a single gusset or a double gusset, meaning the interior will have one single compartment or two separate compartments. The interior also features a combination of zipper and slip pockets or only slip pockets. The smaller Hermes Constance has two slip pockets on the front and the rear side of the bag. The bigger Hermes Constance has a slip pocket on the front and a zipped pocket at the rear. The most striking element of the Hermes Constance is the iconic piece de resistance H buckle fastener, which grabs your attention, exhibiting perfect symmetry and balance on the Hermes Constance. The contours of the H shaped clasp curves gently into the cutouts of the front flap. The H hardware is either offered in a gold, silver or liqueured and can also be offered set in diamonds, enameled or inlaid with a marquetry of precious stones. The Constance opens and closes with the aid of a spring-loaded mechanism concealed on each side of the bar fixed to the flap. 
The H is placed firmly centered with an intersecting horizontal bar. The Hermes constants is available in the following sizes. The micro 14 centimeters, the mini 18 centimeters, the 24 centimeters, and a wider, narrower version called the Elan. The Elan is the latest version, which was introduced in 2010 by Hermes. The sizes 23, 25 and 29 in the constants have now been discontinued. The Elan is slightly longer and narrower and more rectangular compared to the other three sizes. The Hermes Constance incorporates Hermes's classical design and can effortlessly match any outfit and is definitely suitable for any occasion. The Hermes Constance is available in various materials like box calf skin and other exotic materials like crocodile and ostrich skins. The Hermes Constance is a bag that has endured the test of time, modern yet classic, functional and versatile, chic and effortless. The Constance is a great investment.